Hey, what's up guys? It's Merlin here and let's get on with this week's episode. So this week I decided that I'm going to talk about things that I believed in as a kid because hey, who didn't think about fucked up things growing up? So let's just jump right in. And so what if you guys think I'm crazy? Because in the end, aren't the crazy ones the ones that survive? So when I was around three to four years of age, I used to have this one thought back in Honduras. A lot of you guys might think it's weird that I still remember thoughts that I had back at that age, two, three, four years of age. But if you guys remember, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I got a really, really good memory. And I'm not saying that a lot of people have a hard time remembering a lot of things growing up, but for the most part, I remember a lot growing up. Like one memory that I have growing up in Honduras was that there was this one cereal box that said that there was a prize inside. So when I opened it up, there was a tiny little plastic bronchiosaurus. So whenever I smell something that smelled like that little plastic toy, my mind goes straight into that flashback and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I remember when I, I remember when I was there. Yeah. A lot of my day-to-day -day life is literally based on flashbacks. And that can sometimes be a good thing because yeah, I like remember a lot of things that I've done in the past, but that can also be a bad thing because there are a lot of things that I wish I can forget but it's just always gonna be locked up in there. Anyways, so going back to the theme of the video, this one thing that I really, really believed in was that by will, I can transfer my mind into anybody and become that person. Like have my mind be that person's body and just switch bodies. Like I used to think that. And I don't know where this thought process came from, but what I do know is that I remember this one time I was with like two two friends of mine. It was me, this girl, and this guy. And we were all just having a conversation. And I was looking at the girl and I was just like looking at her and I was like studying her and I was like trying to memorize every small detail. And I and, and like I remember I was just like studying her. Like like the way that she smiled, the way that she like like did whatever it was that she was doing. Like I remembered I was there just focusing on everything that she was doing. Because for some reason I thought that, hey, you know what? If I touch her forehead with my thumb, just like, just like that, like if I do that, my mind's gonna transfer into her body and then I'm gonna be her. And I don't know why I like focus on becoming her, but I was just like, oh my gosh, like, hey, I, I, I better, I better learn really fast what you like to do and what you're doing because I'm gonna be you in like a few seconds and I gotta let everybody know that I'm not just that me being you I'm not just like some like oh my gosh who are you you're not you, you know you're not this one girl that I used to know and I don't know why I thought that like I thought that for some reason I could just be anybody that I wanted to be like like I could be like my parents I could be like like my aunt my uncle I could be some random dude down the street. Like, I have no idea why I thought that I could transfer my mind to somebody else's body and just become that person. Kind of like, hey, you know what? I'm sick and tired of who I am. Bam, I'm gonna now be an adult so I can now like do things that adults can do. And I don't know why. Like, that was one of the things that I really, really believed in. Like, it was, it was something that I just thought, hey, you know what? this is possible through like deep deep concentration i'm gonna switch bodies my mind is gonna go into yours you're gonna stop being who you are i'm gonna be you obviously you're gonna be me but nobody's gonna know and then it's weird because like whenever it didn't happen i used to just tell myself oh, okay well i wasn't focusing hard enough next time focus harder maybe if i like study the person or the subject more then i'll become that person like you know stronger or whatever but obviously it didn't work but in my mind i was like no it's just you're not you're not trying hard enough you're not you're not really really focusing or like sinking in your teeth into it you, you're just like oh is it gonna work is it not gonna work you know like you gotta believe in this and then it'll work i don't know that that's what i thought as a kid okay whatever <clears throat> anyways moving on um one of my brothers was born in texas and i remember when we were sitting one day just watching tv the strangest thought came to my head and I believed it. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, the human body is like the most amazing thing in the world. Like there is not one thing that I can't do that won't surprise me. 
and my body has a potential to do so many things where at the end of the day I'm gonna be like oh my gosh I didn't think I can do this but here I am I did it wow and the one thing that came to my mind was I can literally eat anything I want and not die oh my gosh and it was so weird because I just remembered I was sitting there with my brothers watching TV and I just like stood up and I was like hey I'm gonna eat this quarter and I'm not gonna die watch me so there I was I picked up this random quarter and I put it in my mouth and I was like mmm oh yeah I'm gonna digest this and not die I actually ended up choking and like my mom thankfully was there and she like was able to take the quarter out of my mouth and stuff because I was literally choking and I was like oh my gosh I, I, oh, I can't breathe you know whatever but my mom was just there she just rushed behind me and just like squeeze on my stomach really really hard and like the quarter came out of my mouth and like my eyes were like all watery and everything and 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 I, I saw the quarter on the floor and I was just like wow oh my gosh oh, oh and my mom just looked at me and she was just like why was there a quarter in your mouth I wasn't going to explain to my mom the thought process I had right before I did that so instead I just looked at her and I was just like what quarter It's true. Something else that I used to think growing up isn't as crazy as the last two, thankfully. But I used to question why my parents are making me write with my right hand when writing with my left hand felt natural. And I even remember the day when I was able to like process, oh my gosh, wait, what? Because obviously I must have drawn as a little kid, you know, doodled here and there on paper, but I wasn't like self-aware as to like, oh my gosh, why are you making me write with this hand? You know, it wasn't until later, later on, like on a specific day or like my memory was like getting way better. And I just remembered them giving me a piece of paper with like a pen or pencil or whatever. And they were like, here you go, entertain yourself, do something. And I remembered me grabbing it with my left hand and then my dad came out of nowhere and was like, no, 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 no. You're not gonna do it with your left hand. Do it with your right hand, be normal. Here you go, this is how everybody writes. Because obviously I must have drawn as a little kid, you know, doodled here and there on paper, but I wasn't like self-aware as to like, oh my gosh, why are you making me write with this hand? You know, it wasn't until later, later on, like on a specific day or like my memory was like getting way better. And I just remembered them giving me a piece of paper with like, a pen or pencil or whatever and they were like here you go entertain yourself do something and i remembered me grabbing it with my left hand and then my dad came out of nowhere and was like no 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 you're not gonna do it with your left hand do it with your right hand be normal here you go this is how everybody writes and i just looked at him and i was like wait what everybody does this and i looked at everybody and then i was like oh my gosh okay i guess I guess I'll try it with my right hand. And it took me like a while for me to like actually like, oh, okay, here we go, writing with my, drawing with my right hand, whatever. And I remember thinking, well, if everybody's doing it with their right hand, I guess I better start doing it with my right hand too. Like, I mean, shouldn't I be like them too? And I remembered one of my teachers was like, man, you're really having a hard time with this letter. Why is that? And in my head, I was like, it doesn't feel fucking right. Get it? It doesn't feel right because it's fuck you and you know what it was like maybe like nine eight ten maybe years ago where i was just like dude no like i'm not gonna fight this like no i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna start doing everything with my left hand because that's what feels right to me and before i know it i was doing things with my left hand and oh my gosh it feels so right like i started writing with my left hand i started drawing with my left hand i started like doing a lot of things with my left hand, like throwing balls, catching things, you know, here and there, stuff with my left hand. And all I gotta say is it feels really, really good when I can do the same things with both my left and my right hand. Like, if I wanna write something one day with my right hand, bam, I could do that. If I wanna do it with my left hand that day, bam, I could do that too. For me, it, it just feels so much better with my left, but I can also do it with my right. Now this next thing I've never told anybody, so it's definitely one of the craziest things that I've ever thought as a kid. And now you guys are gonna know. Like honestly, nobody has ever known this about me and I've never shared this, so oh boy, 
Please be gentle. I used to believe that, hey, all things are possible through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So if I ask him for anything from the deepest part of my heart, he'll give it to me. That part is true. However, the one thing that I asked for was if I could be Spider-Man. So growing up, I used to think that Spider-Man was like the best superhero ever. I used to watch his animated series growing up, and I used to like read a lot of his stuff growing up too. But as soon as the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie came out, I was immediately like, oh my gosh, this guy is definitely my hero. And as soon as that movie came out on video, yes, I'm literally that old. Way before everything was on Blu-ray and DVD, there was such thing as video, VHS on video and DVD. <sighs> when that movie came out on video, I used to watch that movie every day, five times a day, and I was like, holy crap, there goes Spider-Man. I could be that guy. And I remembered on the day that I asked God, I got him down on my knee and I was like, God, please let me be Spider-Man. Give me the powers of Spider-Man. And I promise I would be like the best Spider-Man that could have ever been in this world. I'll protect people from like every evil imaginable. I'll protect them from like every crime that people can do. I'll save the day like every 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 day if you want me to. But just please, please, please give me the powers of Spider-Man so that I can prove myself and be like worthy of the powers of Spider-Man. And as soon as I said amen, I remember the first thought that came to my head. Why the fuck would he give me the powers to be Spider-Man? No, that's never gonna happen. And I don't know where that came from. Like, honestly, that was like my one thought that, hey, you know what? If I ask God for the powers of Spider-Man, I'm gonna be Spider-Man. And it was like the weirdest thing because like I thought about it for days and I was like, okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta like sleep on this and I gotta make sure that this is exactly what I want because this is a big prayer. And if I ask him for this, I'm gonna be Spider-Man. But I first need to know if I want this. And honestly, that's like one of the most embarrassing things I've ever asked for in general to God. And it's also one of the most embarrassing things that I've ever admitted to. Like nobody knows this in the circle of my friends and even like my one best friend that I have, he doesn't know about this. And obviously whoever is watching this now all of a sudden does know this. But yeah, if you know me, don't ask me about that because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it and reject it. Anyways, that's all the time I have for you guys today. I know there's like a lot of things that I actually did think about as, as a kid growing up, but for right now, that's all that I'm gonna share with you guys because, hey, you know what? I could always make a part two. What's something that you guys thought interesting as a kid? growing up leave your interesting or creative comments in the section below please hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe if this morning you woke up really really tired it's Marlon here and i hope you guys have a good day i love you guys enjoy and subscribe she likes turtles